And now the officials are at ringside and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring and they are ready. Fight fans, are you ready? For oh, the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Edison Reynoso. Wearing blue with gold and officially weighing in at 160 pounds. His professional record, 49 victories, including 34 wins by knockout. Only one defeat with one draw. He has been in 15 consecutive world title fights coming into the ring and captured three world championships. Damas y caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The two-time light middleweight world champion, the reigning, defending, ring, linear middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner with his head trainer, Abel Sanchez, wearing khaki green and officially weighing in at 160 pounds. This Olympic medalist now has a perfect professional record of 37 fights, 37 victories, including 33 knockouts. His KO percentage, the greatest in middleweight championship history from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, the reigning Defending, undefeated, IBA, IBO, WBA, WBC, unified middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple G. Ring center, ring center. Back out of the way. Ready. Okay. Okay, gentlemen. Trucks are good on both sides. Now we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch them up, Brenna Swate. Everyone is expecting a violent classic. Will Triple G and Canelo author the latest chapter in the glorious history of the middleweight championship of the world? Many of history's greatest fighters have worn the crown of this division. Both of these guys know the history of the sport. They want to follow in that line of succession. And here we go. First punch of the fight is a Golovkin jab. Remember, he lands more jabs than any other top fighter in the sport. Golovkin stalking, but cautiously. Canelo moving, trying to present a difficult target for Golovkin. Canelo so purposely at the perimeter of the ring this early in the fight. He's letting you know right away that he's going to make it a boxing match. He's not going to stand there and slug with Triple G. He's going to use Triple G's punches against him. Here Canelo testing Triple G's defenses. Triple G just looking to make contact right now. Hasn't thrown the fastball yet. He'll need to get closer to Canelo before he's going to do that. Canelo is using his feet to try to present 
a problematic equation for Golovkin. Now Golovkin unloading the jab, 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 jab. And finally, Canelo answers with a jab of his own. No other fighter that we've ever seen has commanded this type of respect from Triple G, Triple G in round one. That's right, he's already paid Canelo the highest compliment he can pay him. That's exactly right. Little body shot from Canelo. You see Canelo slipping and countering to the body. That's his bread and butter. That's the kind of fighter he is. This is a fastball pitcher against a fastball hitter. Triple G wants him to stay there so he can hit him. Canelo wants Triple G to come at him so he can counter. Canelo just had to be careful not to run into one of those big shots too early. Canelo looking good early in this fight. But Golovkin is the one who's mounting the offense, having landed 11 out of 25 punches so far. And there's a right hand for Canelo. Golovkin lands a jab, misses over the top with the right hand. Lands another jab. Hard right hand from Canelo. And you see the after upper Golovkin body. missed his right hand. Upper body movement from Canelo, making his head a, a tough target. Crowd responding to Canelo's thrusts, but Golovkin blocked those punches with his arms. Canelo is much quicker than Golovkin already, as we see. He's the quicker man of the two, without a doubt, but Golovkin is the more powerful man of the two, without a doubt. Though it's Canelo who's concentrated on Golovkin's body more than the other way around. Golovkin has not mounted a body attack. Hey! Golovkin threw 33 punches by CompuBox count in the first round. Canelo threw only 23. Golovkin landing 15 to 10 for Canelo. Canelo landing at a high rate. So did Golovkin. Great. Good. That was the first round, son, okay? He wants to catch you with one punch, just like we know. All right? He's showing you his two lefts, and he throws that right. That right hook. Be careful with that. We're catching him there very good. Step back and receive him with that uppercut. Okay? Short right here. He's going to counter with the uppercut. Give me the left hook right here. Deep breath. Abel Sanchez asking Adani Golovkin for deep breaths. He looked nervous on the walk-in. I'm not sure he's gotten rid, of, gotten rid of his nerves quite yet. Canelo looked more relaxed in round one, but it was Golovkin who mounted the offense, throwing and landing more punches. And as they come out for round two, Golovkin goes back to working his jab. I didn't see Triple G land more punches. I did. Look at the, the, the jab numbers. But over time, our perceptions will certainly diverge here and there. And if it ends in a knockout, they'll come together pretty quickly. Right, stop, stop. Get it up. Canelo may be the bigger of the two fighters here, too. But yesterday, he weighed in at 160 for the very first time in his life. Uh, Golovkin did so for something close to the 400th time in his life. Roy, well, you mentioned it in the first round. Triple G is showing respect for both Canelo's power and his skills. You can see he doesn't want to get caught with any of those hard Canelo shots. Playing defense like that, but also he respects Canelo's slipperiness and counterpunching ability. Funny oh, thing, funny thing, go ahead. Funny thing is nobody's been caught with a clean head shot yet. Well, the fight has not yet broken out. What I'm saying, the counter, counter, counter the box telling us that one has landed so many more head shots than the other, but nobody's truly been hit with a good head shot yet. No, they're all jabs. Is, uh, the, the, the punches they're giving the Lovkin credit for landing are virtually all jabs. And he is throwing the jab to the head. But he hasn't really thrown the fastball on anything yet. Look, the question is, can the counterpuncher make the offensive fighter look different than he normally does? And so far, that's the, the answer is yes. This is not seek and destroy ferocious Triple G. No, he's not. boxing with Canelo. He's been neutralized so far. Oh, 
And Canelo back in Triple G up, something we've never seen anybody do to this point in time. Well, could pay a price for it if Triple G turns the counter-punching tables on him, but that's not Triple G's game. Not at all. Canelo's landed all the good body shots. Canelo with a definite edge in power punches landed so far as Triple G continues to focus on the jab. Has missed with most of his power shots. Missing over the top with the right hand. Good body shot by Canelo. Small left hook for Golovkin. Bang! Two rounds in the books. And still you have the sense that the real fight hasn't broken out yet. How you doing? Good. He's very slow. He's very slow. He's strong, but he's slow, and he hits, eh? You've got to be working on it, little by little. Eh? He doesn't hit. He's going to power. Close up your guard. Please, close up your guard. You're doing a very good fight, but you have to fight in the middle of the ring. In the middle of the ring is where you dominate. Here you see Glove can... Uh, Canelo land a good left hook to the body right there, right behind the elbow of Triple G. Kind of in the back more so than the body. Then you see Triple G land a beautiful straight right lead right here. Not really, no real power on it because Canelo went with it. But it was probably one of his best punches landed to the head so far. Very few punches have been thrown with full power so far. You know, I suggested before the fight there would be no feeling out. To a certain degree, there has been a feeling out process. That's what it's been so far. And every punch Golovkin has landed in the fight, according to CompuBox count, is a jab. Triple G, to win this fight, needs to make it look like Chavez Rosario. He needs to put his man's back on the ropes and work him over, and he has not been able to do it so far. Now the aggression begins to mount. Good body shot by Canelo. Canelo's dominating Triple G to the body. And Triple G has scored knockouts, vicious one-punch knockouts to the body, but he hasn't thrown with real bad intentions there yet. Triple G's been focused upstairs. Yeah, the problem we see here is Triple G is trying to fight his fight, but Canelo is the one who's actually fighting his fight right now. Triple G seems clearly thrown off by having to worry about power punches from a counter puncher. Yes, he is. That's the difference in Canelo and the other counter punchers. He can knock you out with one shot. And Triple G is respecting that, perhaps too much, early on. Triple G is also a pressure fighter. Sometimes it takes a couple of rounds for those guys to get on track, though not usually for him. Nope, not at all. Little left hand to the body by Canelo. Triple G lands another jab upstairs. And Triple G breathing pretty hard already, Max. He looks a little uncomfortable right here. He's being outboxed. Yes. Something he's never had to deal with. Left hook from Triple G. Even right then, that hook he landed, he didn't see confidence with it, Jim. Two good jabs from Canelo. He needs to land a big shot here soon or it's going to be problems for him. Yes. Triple G, that is. It's not the Triple G. There's a left hook for Triple G. Not that he doesn't have boxing skills. It's that he's made a living by pressuring his opponents and landing power punches. And what I'm power seeing... shot to the body by Canelo Alvarez. What I'm seeing is the same thing I saw from Andre Ward and Kovalev. Triple G is boxing, but Ward was landing the bigger punches. The punches that made him respect him. Canelo is landing the bigger punches that making making Triple G respect him. That's right. And Triple G missing upstairs. Canelo slick up there. Had an open shot of the left hook there and missed it for Triple G. It seems very surprising that the game plan for Triple G is not to hit the body early. The power of the counter puncher Canelo has thrown Triple G off. Doesn't seem willing to go to the body. Perhaps fearful of getting countered upstairs. That's why Canelo has a 14-0 lead by CompuBox count in body punches landed so far. And of course, obviously, that shows up later in the fight. Now Triple G with a straight right hand and left hook. Getting a little bit looser. Starting to fire with a little bit more confidence. But the hook got Canelo's attention. Through three rounds, Golovkin has thrown more and landed more by CompuBox count 
but Canelo has landed the more authoritative punches. Step on it, because it's pulling away, right? You understand? Yeah. Okay. Good, good jab, and the shots have to be here. Forget about the top. Yes. Yeah. Kill his body right here, okay? Yeah. This is the fifth, I think. This is the fourth, fourth. Okay? okay? Deep breath. You gave that one away. Okay. Yeah. Talents for Abel Sanchez would appear at this moment to be to get his fighter comfortable enough to perform as himself. Okay. There's Anna Alvarez, mother of Canelo Alvarez, veteran of all his fights, and of fighting in general. She has seven sons who have been boxers. Very quickly, let's go to our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman. How do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, I got it two rounds to one. 29, 28, Canelo Alvarez. Jim, you know me. I, I like to score fights for guys that do more damage, that hurt you more. And, uh, you know, I thought that uh, Gennady Golovkin outboxed Canelo in the first round. But in rounds two and three, Canelo started throwing power shots. Really good power shots. And I thought he was hurting Gennady with those power shots. On the other hand, Gennady's throwing mostly jabs. Canelo's landed in real good left hooks. Two rounds to one, Canelo Alvarez. The hook upstairs is starting to be a useful weapon for Triple G. He's starting There's a hard left hook to the body by Triple G. His best body punch so far. Probably seeing that Canelo's not paying these punches no attention whatsoever. Good body punch by Canelo. Canelo is totally focused right now. And Triple G is steadily trying with that jab. Question coming into this fight for Triple G is when he seemed tentative at times against Danny Jacobs. Could he win a fight like that against Canelo? Or did he have to really put his nose in there and force things against Canelo to win? He's not doing that so far. Hasn't really put his nose in there. Paying a ton of respect to Canelo's power. Boxing instead of punching. That's Triple G so far. Landing a lot, but mostly landing jabs. Now here's a body shot. And now Triple G is beginning to pull out the power and let his hands go. He's usually good at touching guys like this when he has them on the ropes and then unloading the hard stuff. Hard right hand by Triple G. And so Canelo shake his head. Very comfortable on the ropes today. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Right hand body shot by Triple G. Starting to throw to the body like he did not do in the first three rounds. A minute to go in round four. Triple G having a much better round in the fourth, I think. And blocking Canelo's body shots with his arms. Lands a left hook upstairs. Partially blocked, but still, he's the aggressor in this round. Gennady Golovkin. Triple G. Yeah, it was. Good right hand back by Canelo. What champions do when they get hit. You know it. Right and the left by Golovkin. Again, that little left. Golovkin much yeah. more comfortable now. Stepping inside and throwing power punches. This is what he didn't do in the first three rounds. Gennady Golovkin appears in round four to have finally arrived in the building. That's right, Jim. Well put. A little mouse, it looks like, under Canelo's left side. Hey! Golovkin relaxes his upper body and smiles as he comes back to the corner okay, as if to say, okay, okay now like I'm ready. Break. And then I want to see him. Bring him down, okay? Uh -huh. Stop him, okay? When he gets up against ropes again. Very, very good. Deep breath. Okay, here we go. Hay que estar llaveando más. Hay que tener el round más constante. Be more constant with the pressure. Más constante en tu ofensiva. Be more constant with that offensive. Attack. Three more punches out. One, two, and you're out. If you're going to stay there in the inside, in the middle of the ring, cover up, block, and counter punch. All right? Flex your waist. You slip the punch, but throw the jab. Jab, jab, jab. And then you flex the waist so the right doesn't get in here. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? No? In round four, Triple G landed 18 total punches, his high number in the fight so far. Nine were jabs, nine were power punches. Now we go to round five. Interesting to see how Canelo responds to that fourth round, Roy. Well, I'm not, it's not so interesting because 
he allowed Triple G to do that that round. He backed back to the ropes himself and stayed there on purpose. It wasn't like Triple G forced him into that. So it's not like he gave up a round on purpose. He did that himself because, I mean, by mistake, he did that himself because he chose to fight that way that round. It's not like Triple G took command of that round. I don't know. We see that round differently. I think Triple G makes the ring small when he decides to come forward and cut off escape routes. Uppercut lands, right hand, left hook upstairs. Triple G so much more confident now than in the early going. Canelo with a body shot to get himself off the ropes. They're back from the center of the ring. Canelo is in control, total control right now still of doing what he wants to do when he gets ready. That's something we've never seen anybody do with Triple G. That's why I say that Canelo is giving what he wants to give. He don't have to back back if he doesn't choose to. He does it when he wants to. We've never seen anybody do what they want to do against Triple G. Well, they do what Triple G make them do. already knows that he can take Triple G's best shot, yes, Well, he don't know that for sure because he hasn't been hit with it. But he, he feels like he's not worried about it. If he gets caught, he gets caught. Triple G has so much respect for Canelo's skill, obviously, that he's thrown short shots upstairs without his full power. They're good little short, crisp shots, but they're not his knockout punches. He's fighting smart. He's doing something that we've never seen anybody make him do before. Uppercuts inside are working for Canelo. Triple G kind of leaning into them from time to time. Now Golovkin goes back to the jab. Works well for him, and he tries his own uppercut with the right hand. And it works. Right hand lands for Canelo. Triple G walks right through it. Puts him back against that Wilson. Lands right a hand. big right hand. Canelo shakes his head. That usually means he got hit. Well, he did get hit. Left took for Canelo. Or for Triple G, I should say. Body punches by Triple G. Trying to set himself up. For a right hand upstairs against Canelo. Canelo shaking his head again. When Canelo was a teenager, fighting grown men as a young professional, he usually had more boxing ability than them. But when it got rough, he was always very at home. We've never seen nobody come in and fight Triple G with this type of mentality. Four punch combinations for both fighters. The fight has broken out. The crowd responds. Canelo trying to land something big. Triple G coming back with a hard right hand and missing. combative round of the fight so far and the crowd will respond Look up parade, how do you feel? Breathe. Son, you made the mistake like we talked about. If you stay against the ropes, he has the option to connect you with that punch that he did. Don't experiment, son. Eh? Okay. He's got the advantage because he has you against the ropes. He caught you with that punch. Solid punch because you looked for it. Come on, he's slower than you. If he throws three punches, slip. He sees Triple G land a good shot. Right over the top of that right hand, over top of his left hook, with a beautiful right hand, landed more on the neck than it did on the jaw. So I don't think it had much effect on Canelo because it landed hit his neck more so than it hit his jaw. Probably had an effect on the judges, though. Canelo did a lot of head shaking in that round, and the more you shake your head, the more you are saying to the judges, the other guy is the aggressor. I think in the last two rounds, it started to resemble more of a Triple G type of fight. Knocking Canelo back with the right hand. Hitting him against the ropes up. again. Triple G putting himself into position to use his power. It's a different Gennady Golovkin than we saw in the first couple of rounds. Now Canelo has to be different too. And he lands a tremendous right hand shot and a left to the body. An effective Golovkin. Yes, I think that left hook hurt Golovkin. Body punching power is working for Canelo Alvarez. Another left hand to the body. Tremendous shot. You see how physically strong Canelo is in the middle of the ring. He's used this minute to turn the fight back around with his body punching and his strength. Golovkin knew this would be the toughest fight of his career. So far, it's working out that way. Left hook for Golovkin. 
Lufkin is a better boxer than people give him credit for, too. So he's, he's boxing when he has to box. He's not out here just power slugging like we're expecting him to do now. And he's a great jabber. But in doing that, and he's kind of acquiescing, he's admitting that Canelo is nullifying his aggression. Of course. In the fourth and fifth, he was able to box smartly while being aggressive. Like, he, like right now, backing Canelo to the ropes. Halfway through round six. Throwing a glove behind his back, Kenny Bailey says, Come touch, on. Up, touch up, don't touch give me up. any of that nonsense. Right, here go. They touch gloves. Watch Triple G hustle to cut the ring off. Trap Canelo in the corner, land a right hand body shot, but didn't stay on him. Let him out of the corner. Respecting Canelo's power. Bring him up, bring him There's a left hook to the body by Golovkin, and once again he backs off. Worried about the counter fire. Worried about something big coming back from Canelo. That was a really changing the way Triple T fights. That was a really good one, too. Yes, Triple it was. T landed, and as Canelo shown throughout the fight, that champ championship mentality came right back with two of his own. Immediately. And that's because that one-two from Golovkin got his attention. If there's a difference in the fight so far, it's the number of jabs that Gennady Golovkin is landing. It's a punch that Golovkin isn't using all that much. It's helping Triple G to pile up an edge in CompuBox numbers, even if Canelo seems sometimes to have the edge in power. We're doing good. You're doing it. Come on, man. Put some balls into it. Put your head in. All right? Please. Don't make a shame of him. Come on. Focus on what you're doing. Defend yourself. Straight shots. Block. Counterpoint, son. Vaseline. Vaseline. Okay, son? More jab. More jab. Lots of jabs. When you see he's going back, three punches. Three punches. Three man. Gotta put more grease in there, man. Okay. So a little longer. Here you see Canelo playing around, letting you know he's comfortable. He throws a shot behind the head, but to Triple G's credit, watch what Triple G does. He comes right back with a smack hook of his own to show that, yes, we're both in the same game. So both guys are feeling equally confident right about now. Halfway through the fight. Our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? <laughs> okay, Jim, I got it four rounds to two. 58. 56, Gennady Golovkin. You know, Jim, when Gennady backs him into the ropes, man, he hurts him. Uh, he does very, very well every time he takes Canelo into the ropes. There you go. He backs him up, hits some good shots, and when he gets him on the ropes, he does damage. Four rounds to two, Gennady Golovkin. Maybe, but I could see it 3-3, and I could see some judges having it 4-2 the other way. I agree. Could be scored any number of different ways at this moment. I like the position both guys are in right now. Both guys are very confident still. Both guys are giving us what we want. And if it continues like this, it looks like we'll have a part two, I hope. But this is a really good fight right here. A little bit more of a boxing match maybe than anticipated. Yes. Much more of a boxing match than most of us anticipated. I like the chances for a big fight here in the last six rounds tonight. As they begin to get a little bit looser, more comfortable firing with each other. More willing to test each other's chins and fortitude. And Canelo landed with a good hook early in this round. Triple G breathing hard out of his mouth. Hard right hand by Triple G. Lands a jab behind The fight is still unclear. Is the counter punching of Canelo wearing down Triple G, or is Triple G's increasing success upstairs starting to get to Canelo? You like to see Triple G go to the body more. I think that would serve him uh, better if he were going to Canelo's body a little bit more. I think he's worried about going to the body because he doesn't want to get countered upstairs by a giant Canelo shot. But as close as he is, he's getting countered anyway. You saw he got countered just then when he went to the body, when he went to the head. 
So it doesn't matter. He's still getting countered. Go to the body. Surefire way for Triple G to get countered is to headhunt when Canelo's on the road. That's my point. So go to the body son. There he traps Canelo in the corner and hits him with two jabs and a right-hand shot. Triple G cutting off the ring as always. Landing more power shots. Canelo missing upstairs. Still Triple G not willing to put himself in there to keep Canelo on the ropes. Not willing to really accept what might come back. But Triple G is piling up numbers. Yeah, yeah. And being more punches. Here's a terrific uppercut by Canelo, stopping Triple G in his tracks moments early. Triple G keeps coming. He's on the attack, big time. Canelo throwing some bombs back. Triple G with a confident nod of the head as he comes back to the corner. Take the last Seven corner, rounds okay? in. You gotta be consistent the whole round. The last 20 seconds are very important. G. Okay, the last 20 seconds are very important. You can't just let him work the last 20 seconds, okay? When you when you hear 30 from Max, you gotta you gotta put it on. This is this is this is Throw more of the left. Combinations. More combinations, son. Okay, yes, yes. Well, let's go. Here's what's allowing Canelo to stay in the fight. When Triple G attacks with the right hand, watch what happens right here. Went blank on me. What happens is the place just whites out. <laughs> Seven rounds in. Copy box numbers finding Golovkin outlanding Canelo in every round but one, the second. Copy box numbers not always the full story of the fight. Harold Letterman with Golovkin building a lead on his unofficial scorecard. Yes, and I think that's right. Triple G is having increasing success. I said the story of the fight's unclear, but. One trend is that Triple G is getting to Canelo increasingly as the fight goes on. He's making more opportunities for himself. He's throwing more. And too often, Canelo is simply walking away and establishing that Triple G gets to be the aggressor. There's a good hard right hand by Canelo. Very hard right to hand. follow it up. Doesn't come with anything. Good jab, good jab by Golovkin. That's the telephone pole jab. more careful boxing match on both sides than a lot of people thought would be the case particularly from Golovkin Abel Sanchez trained Triple G to fight like Julio Cesar Chavez senior in a Mexican style but you see the Eastern European influence in Golovkin from the amateurs certainly he's has a certain amount of caution on his offense even with Canelo on the ropes and no Body shot by Canelo and a good uppercut by Triple G countering knows how to box Using that boxing ability now. Not just all out slugging like we expect to see him do. Triple G, that is. Jab, jab. Canelo fires back with the left hand. Once again, Golovkin's put work. Puts Canelo in a corner. Golovkin steps to the left side and fires an uppercut. Just missing with a big right hand there. Yeah, Canelo has to do something to slow Triple G down now. He's giving Triple G too much confidence. But he's walking away and walking away and making Triple G look like a freight train. But listen, Canelo's oh, good shot. shots shot like that. Canelo. But when your, opponent walks, momentum. when your opponent walks through shots like that, what can you do? Well, that's the first one of those you hit him with, though, Max. Lovkin more than doubling Canelo in landed punches this round. It's the tempo. He's just keeping up the tempo. Throwing, throwing, throwing. Canelo throwing one punch at a time way too often. Good body shot. Firing in combination. Drives Canelo back into the ropes again. Jab, jab. Right hand to the body. All these are good choices by Gennady Golovkin, who is out strategizing Canelo at this moment. Yes, he is.
when you're throwing a hook and he's moving away into your right hand. Gee, when he's moving into the right hand, you gotta throw it this way. Don't throw it straight on me. Throw it like a hook, a long hook, okay? Because he's moving into it, alright? There we go. Good, good round. Just make sure that we don't let him work. Watch that uppercut too. You see that uppercut, okay? Okay, deep breath. Good, good pressure. Just a little more effective with the shots, okay? Here you see two good fighters. Triple G lands a, I mean, oh, Canelo lands a right uppercut right under the throat. Very good shot by Canelo. And here you see Triple G land his own version of it. A jab followed by a left uppercut right on the beard. Neither of those Triple G shots landed, but increasingly he is becoming the avalanche in this fight. They landed, they just didn't land as clean as Canelo's did. You see the jab numbers in the last round. That's really been the weapon for Triple G tonight. Pumping that jab, pumping that jab, landing in big numbers compared to Canelo. Canelo, who seemed to have Triple G intimidated early in the fight with his counter-punching power and his body shots, has not thrown as many punches in recent rounds. Now there's a Canelo rally. Body shot, right hand upstairs, but here comes Gennady. Gennady steps back in and lands a hard right uppercut. Oh, and, 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 and a left hook. And suddenly, Golovkin may have Canelo in a tiny bit of trouble. Canelo trying to fight his way out of it. Golovkin steps forward and lands again. Pins him to the ropes. Damn. Right hand just missed. Right hand landed. Golovkin is thinking power at this moment. Left took over the top. Right hand missed. Right hand landed. Canelo looked that one off, but they're coming fast and furious from Triple G now. Good jab. Another right hand. Triple G trapping Canelo against the ropes and attacking, attacking. Predator at work. Hard right hand by Triple G. It's been a great first half of the ninth round for him. Crowd gets excited as Canelo fires back with counter shots. As Triple G has poured it on, Canelo has landed some very big shots in return, and Triple G has walked through them. We've always given Triple G credit for his chin. He is showing it tonight. Landing more power punches. Golovkin landing more power punches in this one. Here's a hard right hand by Canelo. And he misses with a big one over the top. And now Canadi chases him again. Wants one more rally before the round comes to an end. Ninth round was a big one for Triple G. Three rounds. 10, 11, 12. How do you feel, son? Eh? What? How do you feel, son? Good. Ten, eleven, twelve. These are for your life. Three perfect rounds, son. Speed. Move them. Defense. Stop them with your left. And don't stand the ropes. Thank you. PC glove can come in with a jab. Jab. Right hand. Best right hand. I see him throw straight. But then Canelo comes back as he's attacking and counters with a beautiful left hook to the head, which I think was his best left hook of the fight so far. Then Canelo with the overhand right, right over the top of the jab. That's what a counter puncher does best. Boom, right on the jaw. Very meaningful overhand right. So right now I see Triple G landing the most punches. Canelo still landing the most effective punches. 
Stop, Let's stop, see stop, how stop, Harold stop, Letterman stop. has it through nine. Harold? Okay, Jim, thank you. Seven rounds to two. 88, 83, Gennady Golovkin. You know, Jim, I love that effective aggressiveness. Man, I love it when a guy backs the other guy up the whole fight. That's what Gennady's doing. Backing him up, landing the hardest, stronger shots. I mean, I think he's been out punching him constantly. Seven rounds to two. Yeah, there you go. Meantime, so far, good Canelo's let Triple G have it in this Oh! Game. This is a huge start for the 10th round for Canelo Alvarez. You heard Eddie Renoto saying to him, we need the three rounds of a lifetime. He has started out that way in the 10th, suddenly turning the fight around. Sure, right hand, hand by Canelo Alvarez. Now Golovkin with a right hand over the top himself. Canelo throwing and throwing. It's rock and sock and robots right now. Yes, sir. Now a fight has broken out for sure. Left hook lands for Golovkin. Right hand lands for Golovkin. Watch your hands, guys. Watch your hands. And for the moment, Canelo's fire goes out as now Golovkin is back in the aggressive position. Jab, jab, right hand. Canelo needs a big counter shot again. Golovkin's footwork, always a factor. Pressure, pressure, trying to suffocate the opponent. Point it on. Gets Canelo on the ropes one more time. Canelo's energy has gone down after the brilliant start to the round. Now it's Golovkin with momentum. Misses the right hand over the top. Same number of power shots in the fight. Golovkin has landed many, many more jabs than triple or than Canelo Alvarez. And now Golovkin with a three-punch combination and another jab and a right hand. Canelo missing, missing. Canelo goes back to the body. That's what serves him best. Golovkin thinks he hurt him with the right hand. What right around the tenth one? Two rounds, two rounds. There's two rounds left. How do you feel? Six minutes, son, okay? We've got him here. We've got him here. We've got him. Two minutes. He see Canelo land a good left hook right hand, the right hand over the top with a better punch. Then he deflects uh, Triple G's right hand, which knocked Triple G off balance. He wasn't hurt by the punch. He was knocked off balance by this deflection. Beautiful defense, though, with land the right hand, then deflect the overhand right with his own left hand. Beautiful defense by Canelo Alvarez. Absolutely brilliant. That was at the beginning of the round. Canelo was mounting a big rally. Down the stretch in the round, it was Golovkin who backed Canelo up and was landing more punches. Now they come to the 11th. In the 10th, they combined to land a fight high, 26 power shots. We knew the fight would break out eventually. Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. And if the other scorecards are in line with that, then that would suggest that Canelo needs a knockout. But there's no reason to believe that the other scorecards will be exactly what Harold has seen. Body shot by Canelo, or by uh, Triple G. There you go. And they touch gloves as he acknowledges it was on the belt line. Canelo Alvarez unable in this first minute of the 11th to kind of fi find the kind of fire and rally that he created in the first minute of the 10th. And now Golovkin has him against the ropes again. No, 
I don't know about the scorecards right now. Triple G looks like he has won most rounds in the fight, but he started out slowly. If you give away the first three rounds, which he may have, not just giving him away, Canelo fought and won him, I thought. And then it doesn't take that many more rounds for Canelo to be in the fight. One or two since then went Canelo's way. He's in this fight. Good overhand right by Triple G. Right hand by Canelo. What a chin Triple G is. Oh, good right hand. Another right hand. hand by Canelo. Here comes Golovkin walking straight toward him. Doesn't care nothing about those right hands. We talked about the need for Golovkin to walk through fire tonight, Max Kellerman. In these last few rounds, he's shown that he's willing to do it. Yes, you're right. And that's led to his success in the second half of the fight. But those shots still score for Canelo. 100%. Golovkin came very close with the right hand. Landing his jab as he has all night long. Single biggest difference in the fight has been Golovkin's effectiveness with the jab. Yes, the jab has been a difference. But we haven't seen Golovkin's fearsome power on display in this fight. No, we have not. Not one time. Well, we've seen him try it. Maybe Canelo has a great chin, too. Good hook by both guys. No question Canelo has a chin. A great hook by both guys, though. Eleventh was a pretty close round. But Golovkin was the aggressor. That's it. Breathe, breathe, breathe again. Son, he's got no option uh, to come out like a dog. Make a mess. There he goes. He's gonna come out like a dog. For one punch. Yeah, we got it. Oh. The final round. Okay, last one. Last one. Three minutes. All three yes. minutes. Okay, don't let him rest. Ben, Tao! Tao! And Andy Golovkin had a run in the middle of the bout when he was dominating with both the jab and power shots. Canelo's landed four power shots in three of the last four rounds. Golovkin is still been landing his jab with enough regularity to overall lead in the copy box numbers. Now we come to the 12th round. Only one of these two fighters has scored a 12th round knockout in his career. That was Canelo against Ryan Rhodes. It was a good uppercut for Canelo Alvarez. He's throwing and knockout punches and now, now. Canelo has come out as the aggressor in the 12th. And he lands a big right hand that may momentarily have bothered Golovkin. Watch out, watch. Ah, no, 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 no. Keep him in front, fellas. Let me go. Canelo fighting as though he believes he needs something big. Good uppercut. Good uppercut. Golovkin leaned right into the uppercut. Yes, he did. It's been a great start to the 12th round for Canelo Alvarez. He's been accurate. Golovkin has not. Those punches are landing for Canelo. Abel Sanchez told Triple G, don't let him rest. Okay. But Canelo's not trying to rest. Oh, and Canelo coming. Triple G is walking right through those big punches. It's been a huge round for Canelo Alvarez so far. And now Golovkin tries to come back. And Golovkin lands a right hand. And that backs Canelo off. Kenny Bayless says, watch your heads. Stop, stop, stop back, clean, stop back. Bayless has watch the best head, view guys. of what is becoming a great fight. Fire and fury in Las Vegas. Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez firing away down the stretch. Golovkin walking forward, looking to land one more big shot. It's a right hand in. Lands a left hook. He has energy now. Stop, stop. Step back. Watch your head. Watch your head. Jab for Golovkin. Just missed with the right hand. He waited two years for this middleweight showdown. 
between the two most exciting fighters from an offensive standpoint in the world. And early in the fight, they both seemed a little bit cautious, although Canelo was less so and landed the bigger shots. But then in the middle of the fight, Gennady Golovkin began to take over and showed his Eastern European boxing skills. And down the stretch for the last three rounds, it has been Rock'em, Sock'em, I land one, you land one back. Once again in this round, it's Canelo Alvarez who's landing the power shots. Could these moments decide the fight? Yes, YouTube. So seriously, I have to say, this fight was a true classic. Canelo versus Golovkin 1 was a grand spectacle of boxing excellence. The lukewarm result of a draw leaves a sour taste in my mouth, I have to say, because it doesn't truly portray the action, intensity, and overall execution of skill witnessed in this fight. I highly recommend all avid boxing fans keep this in their archives. Now guys, I can't even begin to think about faulting Golovkin over the course of his career in terms of the fights he has accepted, his style of fighting, and the professionalism he has shown as an athlete. I genuinely like his approach as a boxer and the great things he has done for the sport. Now, for the majority of Canelo's career, he has followed the same path, but in recent times, I feel that as he has etched his name on the pound for pound list and subsequently became the face of boxing, he has developed into somewhat of a diva. I think Canelo's dismissal to fight David Benavidez, who has been his WBC mandatory since 2022, raises a lot of questions about his willingness to fight the best at their best. In any case, this fight against Golovkin came at a time when both of these superior champions were seen to be taking on the ultimate challenges in their careers and giving us the best fights that we could hope for. Now guys, in my honest opinion for this fight, looking at the four criteria used to judge boxing, so effective aggression, ring generalship, defense, and last but not least, hard and clean punches, I am swayed towards a Golovkin victory. However, where some rounds were close, I can understand how the draw could easily feed off these rounds. Let me know what you guys think about the result and who was the victor. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you want to add anything about Sal Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. So until my next one, peace out.